I was feeling like I'm no longer myself. This body is not mine. My Sometimes feel depressed, ignored by the rest. Take a deep breath. Yes. yes. Deep breath. I want to start by saying that if you or someone you know finds life really tough, I 100% understand you. My close friend is battling with depression and I keep reminding him that he's not alone and neither are you. Globally, one in seven of world's children and adolescents experience a mental health disorder. And Kenya is no exception. There is not a single person in this room who has not come across a problem with mental health. Almost 50% of Kenyan adolescents struggle with mental health challenges such as anxiety, stress and depression. I used to feel alone most of the time. It's like being placed in a room whereby there's nothing there. I was raised by a single mom in a ghetto. Being in ghetto, you lack a lot of things like moral support. You are being exposed to a lot of activities like drug and substance abuse, sexual harassment. You're supposed to be strong enough to fit in. I struggle a lot with depressed. I was like, I don't want to do anything. I didn't care. Like, I'm no longer supposed to live anymore. You might already know how mental health problems can affect your life. And if you don't, don't worry. We will dive into that soon. But first, I will start by telling you why adolescence is such a vulnerable time when it comes to your mental health. When we are in our teenage years, we are all picking up new habits and figuring ourselves out. Our bodies are changing and our emotions, well, let's just say they are difficult to figure out. If we are dealing with extra things on top of all that, like poverty, abuse, violence or lack of parental care, it can really mess up our heads. Also trying to fit in with our peers or even just figuring out who we are can affect our mental health. And let's not forget about the media telling us how to live our lives and the gender norms we are supposed to follow. They all play a role too. I used to, to take a little bit of alcohol to make me like to forget. Also, I was introduced to a bang. Two puff of it can make you feel like you are just high, just by yourself, nobody's there to disturb you. Mental health problems can affect your life in all sorts of ways. You might find yourself feeling left out, facing discrimination, or dealing with the heavy weight of stigma. I used to stay away from other people, just to be by myself. Even simple things like seeing friends, getting, getting out, out of bed, bed making breakfast, breakfast or staying focused in your school can suddenly feel impossible. It came at a point whereby I dropped out of school, but not because I want it, but because the life is pushing me to the walls. It is estimated that five in six of Kenyans with mental health problems don't get the treatment that they need. Whenever I raise such issues, everybody will cut you short because they think that you are wasting their time. Getting the support you need can make all the difference in how your adult life shapes up. We all want to be loved. One of the best things I did, I find those people who are able to listen to me, they are able to be supportive. When I decided to stop using drugs, it is not an easy thing. If you have urge of taking such things, you need to do what you love most of the time. At the end of the day, I became anti-drugs and also a peer educator. So I was able to train young person about ways to deal with drug and substance abuse, uh, mental health disorders. Youth-led initiatives are emerging and the youth are doing pretty cool things. They are helping their peers who might be at the risk for mental health problems. One of the things I do as a youth champion is help educate and inform my fellow young people. Just write beautiful me, because that is you. Even if that drawing is ugly, it is you. As a community, we have not normalized the sharing culture. 
So these spaces are offered uh, so that a young person can come and speak freely. I represent music. Like music is my escape. It is uh, commonly said that a problem shared is half solved. So in as much as we might not come up with the solution, they have a place they can just find someone who's going to listen to their problems without judgment. I know that it can be difficult to talk about your deepest worries and problems, but I would like to encourage you to be brave, be vulnerable and open up. And if you see your friend start isolating, be curious to why he or she is pulling away. I decided to compose a song to the people. The song is called Tumaini. Tumaini is hope. Together, we can minimize the stigma and the loneliness around mental health. Once you choose hope, everything will be possible. Hello dear ones, let us parent the young care leafers. They need our special attention. They all need the access of education, access of health facilities. They deserve all the rights others are getting. Let us not mistreat them, they are part of us together as one.